This song has uh, never really been recorded by anybody, but this is a song I wrote several years ago. It's called Daddy Had a Cardiac and Mama Got a Cadillac. <laughs> Domestic bliss. I had a daddy and a mama and a brother and a sis. Never knew nothing about the finer things we were living on. Beans and dreams. Daddy used to take a lot of business trips. Promising us all a better life than this. He said it was a sacrifice he had to make. Right about then, mama dropped another plate. Tracks on Daddy's grave. Daddy had a cardiac, Mama got a Cadillac. All of us kids done throw away the tater sack. Forget us now, living that life. Daddy always promised us that he'd provide. Daddy's on a shady hill, Mama's in a coupe de ville. Never have to worry about another deal. Daddy died smiling, but Mama got the last laugh. Daddy had a cardiac, Mama got a Cadillac. of country music, you know, uh, the classics, the, uh, growing up in a little small town in Missouri, I, uh, Missouri is in the central part of the United States, and uh, growing up there, I learned a lot of great songs because my, my family, my mom and dad, we all sang and uh, played music, and, uh, and they had a lot of the great music around our house, and so the great Charlie Pride was always one of my favorites, you know, Charlie Pride do you all know who Charlie Pride is? Yes. Charlie Pride is, a, is, is one of the last living legends of country music. And, uh, and so last year, I was very honored to get to produce a new record on Charlie Pride. And Charlie uh, called me and he said, uh, two questions, two questions for you. And he said, I have these songs of yours that I would like to record. Now I'm a songwriter. I said, yes, that'd be great. I mean, you know. Charlie Pride wants to record my songs. Like, yes, yes, the answer is yes. He said, uh, also, he said, I love your records. And he said, I would like to uh, have you produce my record. Meaning, go into the studio and, and uh, put the band together and record the, 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 the record. 
And so uh, I was living in Branson, uh, doing the shows there. He lives in Dallas, but I wanted to record this in Nashville. So it's like, how do we do this? So he comes to Nashville, I come from Branson, and we meet in the studio, and we record one of the most wonderful records ever. And I'm so proud of it. But this is the very song that got things uh, uh, started with that whole project. And uh, there's a great video with this song right now on CMT. There's a, and you can probably find it on YouTube or wherever. But this is the song that made this all happen. And it was always a special song because the day we wrote it, I knew somebody would pick up this song because it's a very special song called Standing In My Way. I'm always there wherever I am. There between what I'm reaching for and the fingers on my hand. Blocking myself with things like words I shouldn't say. Seems I'm always standing in my way. Like the time I told you a lie. And I became the wall that stood between your heart and mine. Straight fans here. George Strait. That's the international language. You just say George Strait and everybody goes, Whoa. yeah, they know that. You know, I was always a big George Strait fan. Peach, I know you're a big George Strait fan. Uh, and so uh, this song 
And I'm going to try, I really want to share this story with you all. I never get to do this um, in the big shows. Uh, and so I know some of you may not understand if, if somebody needs to interpret or whatever, but I really want to share this story with you all. You know, most of my life was spent trying to get songs recorded by a big artist. Most of my life was spent in Nashville has been spent writing songs to try to get on a big record to make money. And sometimes that feels like the wrong reason to write songs. Sometimes uh, it's best to just write what you feel in your heart. Sometimes it's best to just do what's right and just do, do what you feel like you should write. And you know, this song came from a very special place. A very dear friend of ours lived three doors down. She was diagnosed with cancer at 50 years old. 50 years old, she's got cancer. She asked me one day to write a song for her. She said, I want you to write a, a song for me. And I knew that Annette Grossberg, Annette was her name. Annette didn't have a lot of time left. And so she said, I want you to write a song for my funeral. And so during that same visit, she had written this very special, simple, little heartfelt letter, piece of paper. And it was about the things that she would miss when she was gone. I don't believe you miss anything. I think you're present, maybe, I don't know. We, none of us know what happens after we're gone. But the title of this letter is said, With Infinite Love, With Infinite Love. Infinite means forever, beyond life, beyond everything, infinite love. And so I ended up writing this song called My Infinite Love. Uh, and many of y'all have heard me do it in the concerts but you've never heard this story. You never knew how this song came about. Am I talking too much? I no, no, it's okay. Okay, okay. This is a different kind of thing. So, you know, trying try to talk slow. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna write this song for, for Annette, her, her funeral. Uh, we included her name on the song because she inspired the song. She was the reason we wrote the song. Put her name on it. While I was in the studio recording this song, Annette passed away, she died. I went to sing at the funeral. About three days later, George Strait heard this song and decided to record it on his latest record that he was doing, his latest recording. It's a song called My Infinite Love. Uh, we were able to give all of the proceeds to this song, from this song, to uh, a live hospice in Nashville who took such good care of her in her last days. So this is uh, my George Strait song and uh, I thank Annette Grossberg for this song. It's called My Infinite Love. When you see a shooting star in the night Just like I promised you 
want you to know It'll be me I'm